Hello everyone. Today I'm going to talk to you about how to stop spam uh, dead in its tracks on your blog. Um, a lot of people start with WordPress and they start getting a lot of spam sent to their comments in their blogs. So when they go to their comments section, uh, I'm just going to go there in the left hand side. I'm logged into one of my blogs right now, Real Traffic Exchange Profits. And in here, where the comments are, what will happen is if you don't have something that will put things into spam for you, in the pending comments, you'll have just a, a ton of spam. Because there's bots out there and other programs or software that can find your blog and start automatically posting uh, spam to it. And so then it's hard to decipher between uh, your real comments and all the spam that you have because it all goes into the pending file. And so that's a question I get a lot of time is how do I get rid of all this spam there and how do I stop that from happen happening? Because the comments normally that are good go in your pending file. And when you have a plugin on your WordPress blog that stops all that spam, what it does is puts it in the spam folder and separates it. Um, it has um, things that it uses to determine what's spam and what's not, and 99% of the time it, the ask commit is what it's called is um, right about the comments what to do with them. And it's so much easier when you have the ask commit plugin because you don't have to go searching through all these pending messages that most of them are spam anyway. This will actually stop spam from ending in your pending comment section. And like I said, this is one. Of, this is the best one I've ever seen to stop spam, and it's on all my WordPress blogs. And today I'm going to show you how to um, add this plugin and just a few fe features of um, getting rid of that unwanted spam that you may have sitting there. So what we're going to do first is we're going to go to plugins. On your left hand side in your WordPress blog in your um, control panel you'll see these different tabs and so underneath appearance just click on plugins and then click on add new. Plugins do a lot for your blog. Um, there's many different features that you can add to your blog and functionality um, when you have these plugins. And I'm just going to cover the Ask Commit plugin first today because dealing with this spam, um, there's a lot of blog owners out there that have tons of it and don't know what to do with it or how to stop it. So now that we're on the Add New, what we're going to do is search for Ask Commit. So A-S-K-I-M-E-T. We're going to type in this box right here and hit Enter. And then it's going to go search for this plugin. And here it is right here. Ask him at. Um, I have this already installed on all my blogs, so I'm not going to uninstall it. But what you would do is there would be an install now button right here. You would click on that, and then it would install, take you to a page where it installs it. And then there's going to be a button to activate it. You'd click on that button to activate Ask him at, and it's going to appear. In your plugins then how all my plugins that I have are back here in my plugin section of my blog. So once you have this activated what you're going to need to do to fully have it working is you're going to have to go and click on there'll be um, a button up here or it'll take you directly to it after you activate it and you'll click on that button to get an API key for Askinet. And even here in your plugins where it's listed, you can come over here to the right hand side and sign up for your key to activate the Askinet plugin because you need that key. So you'll sign up and then you'll get the key and you'll come back and you'll put the key in in a special spot that'll it'll show up back here because you don't have it fully activated until you put in that key. And like I said, I already have this installed, so I can't really, I'm not going to take the time to undo it because it is that simple and it will show up on your screen. It's just important to know that it, the, 
the plugin itself is called Ask Ac Ac Kismetic. I can't even pronounce it right. But this is a very important plugin to stop the spam on your blog. Now, once you have it installed and activated, and you signed up for your Ask Kismetic um, API key and you put it in, um, it'll be fully installed. And when you go to your comment section, then what will happen with all future um, spam comments that come in that are coming from bots and uh, different software programs and stuff that are really bogus comments and you don't want them on your blog is they'll start to separate and all go to the spam section and legitimate comments from real people will start showing up in the pending like I, I told you earlier. And then all you have to do is when you want to approve a comment is you go to your pending by clicking on comments here and it brings you to this page and you go to pending right now I don't have any. I've approved all mine. But in there when you click on it it will bring you to a page and there will be comments listed here. And you can just check them and you know approve them and stuff like that. And you can respond to them too. There's a box underneath each comment where you can reply within here. And that's where usually all your good comments are going to go to. And then the ones in spam, you would just click on the spam and go in here. And I like to go in here once each day and just kind of check through them, see if there's any that maybe got put in here by accident. 99, like I said, 99% of the time, Ask Mitt does a great job on sorting this and, and your good comments just end up where they're supposed to in the pending. So now all you do is to delete all these spam at once would be click empty spam. Okay, now all those spam comments are gone. I no longer have to deal with them. And let's say because this is the case when people go out searching, and this was my case, is I had all these pending comments in here and I had like 3,000 of them. And I was like, what the heck am I supposed to do with these? I can, I'm not going to sit here and read through all 3,000 of these comments to find out if any of them are any good. So what I did is once I installed Askimit, I went to the spam folder. And, well, when I have messages, when you have messages in here, you'll build a, a check for spam. But see, I don't have that button showing up right now because I emptied all the spam. But normally, you could just check for spam and click on that, and it'll filter through all these pending messages if you just installed AskMet and you have tons of pending um, comments in here, and you know a lot of them are just all spam. You can check for spam, and it will put them all into this spam folder then. And then you can empty spam. And they're gone. Now, this is a great plugin. You really need to have it on your blog, and this will stop all future, like I said, spam comments from going in your pending. This will save you a lot of headaches. It's real simple to use. Um, I'll leave some other instructions in this blog post that I'm going to um, put this video in so that if you have any other questions regarding Ask Commit and how to get it set up, there'll be some additional information in there that can help you. But once you understand how to install a plugin, how to activate it, and how to use it, they're pretty self-explanatory of what to do with them. And, you know, having a video like this that at least gives you an idea of how to get started to stop these spam comments and to get a handle on it so you no longer have to deal with that and you can deal with your good comments and answer them, the, mu the much better off you are and the less time you spend monkeying around with stuff that you don't need to, which gives you more time to market your blog or your business. Um, so like I said, I will leave more information in this blog post that I'm going to do with this video so that it covers some of the details that I left out because I already have Ask Commit installed on all my blogs and have for a long time. And if you have any other questions, um, just put them in the comments so that I can answer you and um, get everything answered for you. And I'm going to keep doing videos like this and going through more of the different plugins that I use within my WordPress blogs. And like I said, these plugins are, are really helpful for um, exposing your blog, uh, auto-posting your um, blog post to Twitter, 
uh, Facebook, LinkedIn, different things like that. They help with many different functions. So just keep watching out for my videos, and I will um, try to keep you um, with good content coming in on these so that you can learn things that you want to do to keep your blog uh, up and running and charging forward. So other than that, I hope the video helps you, and have a great day.